Hey guys, Ace here with another video, and today I am here with some very infuriating news. But first, I'm going to read this and see if you can try to read between the lines. The new war, quest complete. The Lotus is reborn. Norma is all but decimated. It's scattered in ignorance, now rallying in the name Stand of their lost martyr. The Shut up, Lotus! The Grenier. Error, not a number. Did the operator enjoy this witticism? Shut up. Anyway. The tenuous alliance against the common enemy has crumbled, leaving the origin, yeah, organ system struggling to recover. Now the Tenno faced new questions, the paradox of the Drifter's origins, and the threads binding them to a nameless void entity. As you see, I completed the quest. In fact, I've got something to show you. Hopefully, it, it'll let me replay it. Hold on. Um. Well, let me. Okay. Yeah, it will. It will let me. Okay. Okay. So everyone. So that was a goddamn lie. You can replay it simply by pressing this button over here, and I shall play it for you now. To my child, my friend. What was done is done. Ballas is no more. We have both woken from that nightmare at last. New dangers, new choices await us now. Few will be simple. Each moment unfolds into a thousand petal bloom of possibilities. And each one we will face together. For now, rest. Dream of who we were and of who we have become. Nothing I could give could repay what you have done for me, but these items may assist you on your onward journey. So allow me to explain in detail to the best of my ability, but first let me shut off that fucking music. It's actually getting aggravating now. Because I can't talk over that. Oh, I can customize. I'll do that later. I'll make it a surprise for next episode. But for now, guys, allow me to explain while it will whilst I drive you all insane while I walk around. Maybe you know what? Maybe do some weird activities while I'm at it. Get a little crazy. So. It, you, you don't have to look at your screens for this one or anything. This one's more like a, a sort of... Not exactly a podcast, but it's like a listening sort of special. What happened was... Let's check what's next. You know I have, uh, how I left the last episode where I completely cut it off. Right. I made it so it's like, alright. We'll get to the fight next episode... And we'll be good with it. Next thing you know, the shit cuts off. And I'm just sitting there wondering, God, fucking, why? Me explaining the rest of what happened in detail. I virtually had to go half the fight using my drifter. And using my Warframe as a sort of crutch to survive, uh, I guess you would call it the dwellings of space. What may I provide? What I essentially had to do was every single time very good, very good. that Ballast would fire a beam, they shall work wonderfully. Good. I had to dodge it. So I, I, I had to dodge whatever the hell he had firing very at me good, and shit. Very good. So that was not at all pleasant. So basically what I'm saying is Dallas was the bitch. 
He was he was a bitch to fucking handle. And, and it was honestly really just because he was just. Balus is just an asshole, okay? <laughs> that's, that's the easiest way to say it. Balus is an asshole, and you know, of course, we knew that with the story leading up. But no, I, I'm I'm getting sidetracked again. Pardon me. So, what happened was I had to use my Warframe as a crutch because of the outermost thing of space or whatever shit. So that means. Every time Bows would fire a beam, I had to trick him into firing it at his own, like, defense orbs you or something. Before that, he also, he had Lotus under his control. Every time she would fire a beam, we had to direct it at one of the orbs that, you know, was like, I suppose the defense orb type thing. And... What also happened was, you know, after that, she started realizing that Bowser's is a terrible fucking person. She started, she started re-realizing that. She started re-realizing who she is. So that battle goes on, and as soon as it's done, we get to see a final moment where Marlis tricks Ballas into giving her a kiss so she could snap she could zap his energy like all of it and become a complete person Every and so after that she showed she was complete she eventually became you know just the lotus you know standard stuff she actually looked really cool though and so then you know we hoisted her back and you got to miss my joke about Oh, damn, we're strong! And so once we brought her back, we sat her in her chair. And she was still confused. Like, she was very confused what to call herself. Right. And, you know, of course, I, me being me, I was just going to go, oh, the Lotus. But after I moved off of her first name, and I started to see changes on it, I said, What? Like, she looks really, really cool in her normal sentient form. She looks, you know, she's really cool as the Lotus, as we know her. But what got to me was when she came to look of Margulis. That was where I decided, you know what? She is now going to be called Marculus, just because. <laughs> it, it was just so interesting to see how the rest of the story played out. I'm sorry if I'm not doing it any justice by explaining it terribly like I usually do. <laughs> but, nah, genuinely, I really mean it. Warframe always knows how to come through with the fantastic stories. Right, they, they've, they've definitely come a long way since, I want to say, at the very least, the way their first combat system was. Their entire story now, they, they, they have a story now, and it's fucking amazing. I personally love it. And just the fact of, like, that's how that part of it ended is like mind-blowingly amazing to me you know because I feel like finally justice has been done she has been done justice she has been done right by everything with just really that end scene alone Actions speak, a, actions speak louder than words. That ending scene definitely spoke a lot. It spoke and it never shut up. Kind of like me right now. Pardon me. 
my point is, I see what DE is starting to do with their stuff, and I really, really love it. They are just mind blowing with everything they're doing. Shout out to DE for actually doing some really good stuff with their stuff and paying attention to the fan community. And honestly, the creation of the Drifter is fucking amazing. Like, I'm sorry, I like being the operator and all, but something about the style of the Drifter is just way too fucking good. But yeah, I think I think I've rambled on enough, bored you all too much. I think I'm. I think now that that's done, I'm gonna take a little break from Warframe. You know, to me, a break from Warframe is going to be by the time all of these uploads get done with their assigned weeks. So you may not see me do an actual actual video like for myself until about I want to say. October maybe I don't know how many how many videos worth do I even have counting this one it's let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah so that's I, I I don't know if that's exactly like that's like two months worth right there but if I decide to rush it you know you guys might see me sooner it's just the point is now I'm at that point where I want to start enjoying Warframe. I want to start enjoying it for what it is. You know, I really want to put my passion into it now and really get mind blown into it all. I feel like it's it's it would be a good thing for me to finally start enjoying Warframe the way that Warframe was intended to be enjoyed. You know, because this is just this game. Everything about this game is just absolutely amazing, and I've enjoyed the shit out of it, and haven't stopped enjoying the shit out of it. I've loved the whole crafting of the Zaws. I've I've loved the Necromech stuff. I, I've been loving the shit. The customization of Warframes is literally like one of the favorite fast times I have. Shit, I love the fact we can have little infested pets. I like that you make little connection uh, collections and fucking design your shit in. Warframe in general is just such a great game. A and I embrace anyone to get their little brothers, their little sisters, their little cousins, nieces, nephews, wh whatever. Get people into this game that are going to enjoy it. When they get to the new war, maybe watch over them and make sure, you know, they're not going to, like, cry about certain things because there is depiction of like killing children <laughs> or at least like impaling children the point is this game has gotten much better it has come a long 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 way since I first joined since I first made my account on I think the first one I did it on was PC, I want to say. Look, oh my god. I'm about as tall as my Warframe now. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> Growing up can have a big impact on you. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Thank you all so much for enjoying this video, having a laugh with me, if you stayed till the end, enjoying the story, and how I told this story, even though it was terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm making this video currently after, I want to say about, um one episode made and after working in the morning so I am probably a little tired and that's why I couldn't explain it properly but otherwise Warframe is one hell of a game and that's what I want to get out
Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like if you have enjoyed. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to comment the way you thought your favorite part of this video was. Right. I was getting ready to say my favorite part of the video was the thing with, you know, what, you, what I just explained with the ending fight and how savage the Lotus herself was being. Honestly, you could probably look up the scene on YouTube. It's it's gotta be there someone somewhere someone somewhere has the exact end to the new war. And it's really enjoyable. So I encourage you to go look that up. It's it's really nice. This the scenes turn out well. They're really nice. They're they're definitely more than my computer can handle. So never expect me to play on PC on again. I, I think Warframe is past my PC vibes. Um, I think for a while I'm going to focus on side quests. I mean, you know, at least until all those videos are done, I might try to get into the Angels of Zaremen. I want to get caught up with all of that. I want to I wanna be able to enjoy what the community enjoys, like, genuinely. And I want to be able to, you know, share my thoughts of this game with you guys. You know, kind of like I'm doing now, honestly. <laughs> So once again, thank you all so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share if you have enjoyed and you want to share this weirdo's passion for this game. Stay on the airlines. Oh yeah. First of all, I want to say, see you all when this video comes out. You know, av the week the week after whenever this video comes out from now. Shit, I'll even give you the current day. Let me let me find my phone now. Got the put it up. Put it. So the current day is August eleventh. So whatever day this finally gets uploaded to, after then, is when I can finally enjoy Warframe live with you guys. Until then, you, you'll already be able to see for yourself. There's, there's not going to be any Warframe live streams. There's not going to be any, like, any other videos on Warframe. There's not going to be anything Warframe until that point. Until that point where this final video gets uploaded. But, I'll leave you all with that. Like I said, by the time you see this, I'll most likely be planning something in the works. Trying to get things together so I can do the Angels of Sherman. Shit! I've heard I can do that quest with someone else, so... I might do that quest with someone that's like a friend and you know kind of do like a mini collab he doesn't really have a channel or anything sorry rambling again you can all ask me about it in the comments of this video down below as well as suggesting other games to me and as always stay in their lines well first of all thank you for watching please just Thank you all so, so much for watching. And be sure to stay on your lines, Junior.